Hi, I'm Kitty Feldy. Coming up, an interview with writer Vera Hiranandani. But first, Book Club for Kids is a proud member of Kids Listen, a grassroots organization dedicated to creating terrific podcasts for younger ears. And we wanted to tell you about another podcast for younger listeners. In the beginning, everyone was nice. But over time, so slowly that no one could say when it started, the fairies and the ponies got mean. Rumors spread across the land that they were to blame for various things gone wrong, things gone missing. And before you knew it, it was common knowledge that the fairies and ponies were bad. Beatrice knew this better than anyone because, although she couldn't prove it yet, she knew that the fairies and ponies had stolen her egg. And stealing a dragon's egg, in Beatrice's opinion, was going too far. But to confront them, she would need the help of a knight. To find out what happens next, please subscribe to Fairies and Dragons, Ponies and Knights on your favorite podcast player. Last week, we discussed the book The Night Diary by Vera Hiranandani. This week, we wanted to continue the conversation. So, Vera, the book is written as a series of diary entries. Why did you choose to do it this way? I felt like because I came up with this character who was very shy and had trouble expressing herself in other ways, I felt like the diary would allow her in a very private way to express herself in a way that she never had before. And I I knew I like putting some kind of boundary on my own writing because it forces me to tell stories in different ways. So I was excited about having that problem in a sense of how do you tell a story told only through diary entries um so I was definitely had you know had some times where it wasn't working and I thought well maybe I should step out of the diary and I should alternate with different points of view um but ultimately I really liked that intimacy so I stuck with it What advice do you have for kids that want to draw out stories from a parent or a grandparent? Sometimes it's just hard to figure out how to get going on that. What are your suggestions about that? Sure. Well, I think certainly interviewing and asking, thinking of the questions that you want to ask first and then asking them. Um, And you may not get all of the answers that you wanted so I had to fill in a lot because again my dad was willing to tell me everything about his experience but it was his nine-year-old experience so I read many nonfiction books about the history and then of course the internet is an incredible place so there are so many testimonies of people that have there are these oral histories that are being preserved now Um, so there are so many different, I, I listen to many stories from people traveling in both directions and what their experiences were. So Nisha's really a, a combined version of hundreds of stories that I listen to. And talk about, how would you describe your writing process? I mean, does it differ from project to project or do you sort of fall into a a rhythm of sorts? I like routine, so I really thrive. I'm not somebody who can binge write where, okay, I have this deadline and now I'm going to write for two days straight. I like to work in more of a daily way, an hour or two every day, and kind of figure out, you know, I want to write my two pages a day and get into a routine and then build on that. That really helps me. Thanks, Vera. We have interviews with dozens of other writers at our website, bookclubforkids.org. And speaking of writing, have you checked out our other podcast yet? It's called The Fina Mendoza Mysteries, and it is based on a series of mystery novels set on Capitol Hill. In fact, book two in this series, called State of the Union, will be published on August 13th, and you can pre-order it right now. It's the story of the 10-year-old daughter of a congressman who solves mysteries inside the U.S. Capitol. This time, it's a mysterious bird that poops on the president's head during the State of the Union address. Check out the free podcast, The Fina Mendoza Mysteries, and you can pick up the book, State of the Union, at your favorite bookstore. I'm Kitty Feldy. Thanks so much for listening.